So this will be a speed test between the iPhone 11 Pro Max. What a name. And right here on the right, we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here. Now the iPhone 11 Pro Max, this one has the A13 Bionic chip. And I think four gigs of RAM still on this. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. This one has iOS 13 out of the box, as you can see, triple camera setup, etc. Matte green colorway here with the, um, yeah, the matte green here. Looks pretty good in person. Very nice. And then of course, here on the uh, right, we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Gonna go ahead and put the S Pen back inside. So on this bad boy, Snapdragon 855 variant. So this is not the Exynos. This is the Snapdragon 855. 12 gigs of RAM on this bad chicken. Triple camera set up in the back also, as you can see, in this beautiful Aura Glow colorway. And take a look at the color shift, etc. Very nice. So let me know in the comments below which finish, not phone, but finish you like better, like a matte finish like the iPhone or this super fancy Aura Glow with the color shift here on the Note 10 Plus. Very nice. All right, so let's just go ahead, turn both on at the same time, and let's go. Looks like the Note 10 might be out in front here. Let's see, let's find out. Samsung logo here on the, on the right. Let's see, what's the iPhone doing? Which one is faster? Phone is starting, ooh, maybe the Note 10? Oh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments which one you think won that. And not now on that. Very nice. And let's take a look at the displays. Obviously a little bit bigger on the Note 10 Plus with the whole punch cutout. And then right here on the 11 Pro Max. Still have the notch, same thing from last year. That hasn't changed really. All right, so where are my apps at? Here we go. All right, so let's just go ahead with the phone app. Ooh, maybe the note on that one. Whoops. And then this one, messages. Ooh, the camera. All right. Do it like this and you see the viewfinder. Let's just see which one opens this faster. Let's go. I don't know, man. Got to give the edge here to the, um, the note. I think that was a little bit faster on the right. All right, let's see, got the clock. Ooh, again, maybe that was the, um, let that run. Maybe that was the note again. This one, have the internet. Uh, maybe the iPhone on this one. All right, see, what website should we look for? Let's see, let's go look at The Verge. And let's see, this one's a Google search. This one will take you directly. Here, I'll do, I'll click on this one. Try to make this even. You guys are the judges. And then let's see, here's the site. Go. Oh, maybe the 11 Pro on this. Check out the scrolling on both. Give you an idea of the speeds while browsing. I don't know, on Android, this is the Samsung browser. You can flick through stuff hella fast. Whereas Safari, well, I guess you can now, but I don't know. For some reason, I just feels a little bit faster on the note. Feels faster. Maybe it's just me, not really sure. All right, we'll go ahead and click on, let's see, what can we click on? Just this first one. Check out the performance. There you go. We'll pinch the zoom. Handles that pretty well on the Note 10 Plus. Do the same thing here on the 11 Pro. No issues, as you can see. See, there we go. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem on either device. On the web browser, open this one. Pretty much the same. And then we have the Play Store and the uh, App Store respectively. Let's see, ooh, maybe the, uh, the Note. Let's see, what can I look for? Oh, I know, my favorite app. As you guys well know, Let's see, there we go. And then 
I'm gonna click on it and then install and go get this app nah I'll pass on that and then let's see we do have Amazon on both phones whoops kind of messed that one up let's try that one again round two go and okay we have this pop up here all right you know what third time's the charm right on this and then so let's try that one again a little bit faster on the note we'll click on the dealer today let's see let's click on this one power strip and then next we have eBay another pop-up here and then let's see let's click on this what's this tempered glass for the 11 Pro Max looks pretty good and then some games Mario Run <sighs> loading oh I think that was the note 10 by a split second you guys uh, slow down the video for me Tap to begin. Oh, but a little bit faster on the left though. Actually, when the game starts. Mario time. And then let's see, this one. Temple run two. Lost jungle and loading. Oh, looks like the Note 10 is out in front. We'll give the win to the Note 10 on that. So you can see. And then next up, Angry Birds 2. Starting up and logging in. What happened to the volume on the, I thought I turned up the volume on this. Not sure what happened to the volume on the iPhone. And then this one, Asphalt 9. I don't think I have the, well, hold on a second. I don't have the, um, give that to the Note 10. We'll play once, tap play once. And then we'll leave it there. Why is the volume not like working on it? Hold on a second. Okay, right. There we go. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear the game. Then we do have PUBG installed on both. PUBG Mobile. Usually the iPhone wins on this game. But um, what is this? Some sort of announcement? Okay, we'll bypass that. Hopefully that didn't affect the speed. Okay, still, it's still out in front. All right, we'll give this to the iPhone, as you can see. Get rid of all this extra stuff. Get rid of this. This one, Photoshop Express. Here we go. And then let's see, we'll click on this picture here. Got this 8K image on both. And then let's see what? See, it's still the summertime, right? Depending on when you're watching this video. So is there a summer... Um, we'll go to basic. Here we go on the iPhone. We'll click on summer on both. And then let's go ahead and just jack this up. And then click this on both. Okay, a little bit faster on the Note 10 on that single step. But we'll see which one saves it faster. Note 10 Plus or the iPhone. Now this one has UFS 3.0 storage. Not sure on the speed on the iPhone 11 Pro. Let me know in the comments. But save the camera roll and save the gallery. Go. And ooh, very close. Call that one a draw maybe. And then here we go, Twitter, some social media apps. A little bit faster on the Note IG. Note again so you can see. WhatsApp. Note again. Will the note sweep the uh, the last row of apps here? Let's find out. And give this one again to the note. We'll just leave it right there. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the RAM management on both phones. You can see everything's in the background. So let's just uh, run through these apps again. And then uh, let's see what happens. WhatsApp's still there. Just go ahead and go in reverse. N not a problem on the IG. Twitter. Here we go. Photoshop Express still there. PUBG. Nice and quick. I know what's going on on the iPhone. Okay, now I don't think that was a. I don't think that was a. 
I don't think that was a, I don't think that was a full reload. It was just some sort of like reset. Stolen ram on the Angry Birds 2. Temple Run 2 ready to go. And then we have Mario Run. Mario Time, eBay. And let's click on it. There you go. No issues. Still on the power strip on Amazon. TikTok app on both. Super annoying. And then we have the browsers. And ooh, a little bit of a reload refresher on the on that video. And then the clock still running, the stopwatch. And then the camera, we'll do it like this again. And then we'll see which one's quicker. Go. And again, that was a little bit faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. And then we do have the messages here. And then the phone app, boom. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this classic matchup between Apple and Samsung. My fellow Apple sheep, are you gonna go ahead and purchase the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 11 Pro? or the Pro Max. If you're coming from last year's iPhone XS series of phones or an iPhone XR, are you gonna go ahead and make the switch to this phone? You do get the upgraded specs, A13 Bionic chip, triple camera setup, or are you just gonna stick with your iPhone XS? Because honestly, if you have that phone, I don't think there really is a need to upgrade to the 11 Pro, unless if you want that third camera or if you want the A13 Bionic chip, but if you have last year's A12, I think that's still good enough. If you're coming from an older phone, like the original iPhone 10 or iPhone 8, iPhone 7, something like that, then yeah, I'd say you can make that switch. But if you have last year's phone, I'd say you can keep that phone for another year and see what Apple releases in a year from now. Or are you a Samsung Knight with your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus? This phone, as of this video, has been out for a little bit over a month now. So if you're rocking this phone, the Note 10 Plus, let me know in the comments below what you think about it so far. Did you come from last year's Note 9 or Note 8? Did you make the switch from the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus? What do you think of this phone so far? So let me know what you thought about this classic matchup in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.